Well, good news. We have passed our footing inspection, or at least the depth part. So now we've got to get a few more of these tubes. These are 12 inch diameter for the concrete, but mostly for all these holes along the wall because the dirt was just not packed down enough. And like here, it started collapsing in on the sides. So we're gonna put these tubes in and put dirt around them and then fill them with concrete. So um, what we're getting ready to go do now is go pick up our four by fours and then place an order for about 100 bags of concrete mix to be delivered. So hopefully we can get that in the next couple days and by the weekend we'll be ready to fill all 27 holes with uh, concrete having the 4x4 set. So we'll be pulling strings again to make sure we get them all lined up and straight. Um, but yeah, we're needing at least nine tubes. We may go ahead and get a couple more, especially for this one because where the stump was, we got to put a tube there. And we might, some of these ones that are a little wide that have collapsed a little bit on the sides, not much, but a little bit, we may get another tube for, we're not sure, but that's where we're at. So we're on to starting the construction phase now. There's some more of the tubes, got them stored in the shed because of the weather, but uh, we still, we've been picking them up little by little because uh, um, one of the weird things, these things say 12 inches on the side, but we've taken measurements of some of these and they were like 11 and a half. You know, the tubes were inside the tubes. Now, apparently, you know, that may not be that big of a deal, but, you know, in the past we've heard of inspectors failing, you know, piers because they weren't true 12 inches. And uh, we're not going to take any shortcuts here, so all these tubes are exactly 12 inches and all the 11 and a half inch ones we've passed. So we're going to go back when we pick up our 4x4s and look for the uh, 12 inch tubes and uh, make sure they're true 12 inches. So um, we'll maybe pick up a few of those at the time we pick up our 4x4s and concrete. All right, so we finished unloading our 4x4s. These are the six footers here and some stakes because we got some eight footers we're going to be putting. Actually, eight footers we're going to be cutting in half for these holes, first and second row. The third row is for these uh, six footers here. So, um, yep, so this is what it's going to look like with the concrete uh, pillars, tubes in the holes, trimmed down, and here's the eight footers. We'll cut them to four foot for those first two rows. So, supplies are here. Concrete will be delivered in a couple days. All right, I've got the eight footers cut in half. So, we're going to start setting posts. Yeah, we cut the tubes to shape. This is what's left. We'll probably stick those in some of the other holes as we need them. I'll show you where we got them in here. All right, so we got a bit of a square here. We need to get some concrete to solidify these corners. And then we can really start, you know, getting things going. We've got to chip away at that stump a little bit more. But that's yeah, about where we're at. we got to figure something out. we got to adjust that one a little. That one's all right. That one's dead on. And so are these. So. That's where we're at. All right, so we got our posts in. Now we'll wait on the concrete to be delivered tomorrow, and we'll start getting these things encased in concrete. All right, concrete was just delivered. We got a total of 100 here, 58 on this pallet, and 42 on the other. So. But yet I was charged for three pallets because I guess they thought they were going to deliver the concrete on three of them. So I have to get that back when uh, uh, when we take go for refunds for whatever stuff we don't use. So I want to make sure I get that money back for sure. All right, we've got the four corners encased in concrete, all squared up. These are next. We'll do along the wall. And this is towards the front, and this is the other corner. So, only an eighth of an inch out of square, which is really not bad for 
a mega shed. So that's where we're at now, and we'll probably continue doing the outer wall there. Get those encased in concrete, you know, because trying to beat the weather. If it starts to rain, it's going to mess up these tubes, cause them to cave in. So, and uh, we had a little concrete left over, so we went ahead and put a footing in the bottom here where the stump was. So the rest of the stump is buried. So we're good to go there. Ah, thwarted by rain again. We can't cover these holes. We're hoping we just have a quick shower here and we can get back to concrete and at least those down there by the wall. We've still got two more to go. Alright, rain's over. These two tubes are all that's left, but I think we're alright. We're just going to start finishing them up, fill them with concrete, and continue on. All right, other outer row is done. We've enlisted the help of our buddy Aureliano for concrete. So outer walls or outer posts are done. Now we're setting up for the middle. And get this wrapped up today. All right, we have finished setting the posts. We just let them settle for the rest of the day and tomorrow because it's Sunday. And then Monday we will continue on with the flooring. Yeah, these turned out excellent. With the help of our good friend Aureliano with the concrete, it just got too much, too much to handle. So, yeah, everything is set right along the wall here. I got 40 feet. And there may be an eighth to a sixteenth difference, but that's it. Other than that, it is perfect. So this is it for now. We'll go ahead and here's a front shot. Basically these are 2x6 12 footers and these are just simply holding the 4x4s in place till we get ready for the flooring. So here I make a quick mention of that. Uh, we're going to reuse these 2x6x12s for uh, the rim joists and uh, so that's a good thing. We'll at least be able to reuse these boards once they're done serving their purpose of holding the posts in place so but yeah these really turned out excellent took a total of 90 bags of concrete that's uh, 90 pounds times well 90 bags times 80 pounds so that's a lot of concrete <laughs> so oh man so we're glad to get at least this part done we'll go ahead and yeah start the flooring next